Hello everyone. Happy New Year. Woohoo! <laughs> welcome to Australia and welcome to Australian Book Travels. I'm just popping on here quickly to remind you all that our very first travel video, uh, traveling around Australia, across Australia, um, looking at bookshops, trying to find bookshops and discovering a bit about Australia, will be available on Saturday the 13th of January and our first book review will be available on Monday the 15th of January. So I'm looking forward to that. The other thing I wanted to tell you is uh, during the Christmas period, I went down to Melbourne and I picked up a set of bookcases. They, it comes in a set of three, but they fit in together as one. Uh, they were, I, I travelled to Melbourne to get them. They're second hand, not new, but they're really, they're heavy. They're really good quality. I think they've been handmade. Um, they're really good quality. I'm so excited because they'll take the weight of all my books eventually. Uh, I've just, I've started renovating them. This one I have finished. Uh, they were a, an antique sort of dirty uh, cream, distress sort of cream, which was lovely, but they didn't suit this room. We I have white trim in on the architraves and the doors, so I sanded them back and I've finished painting this one which is the middle section the other two are waiting to be painted and they'll go on either side of of this middle section Th this one's deeper too it sort of sits out from the other two so um yeah it's, it'll give it a little bit of depth to the to the bookshelf they're not just sitting flat which is lovely I'm really excited about them because I have not had bookcases for years. All of my books have been in uh, boxes because I've moved so often uh, and just to keep them, try to keep them um, in good condition. I've had them in boxes and some of them I've had in, you know, shoved away in um, cupboards and things. So I'm so excited to finally have something. These will not fit all of my books, but at least I'll have something um, so that I can easily access the books. And they're on display. I, I, the, a house to me is a home when books are on display. So I'll feel better about it. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that bit of information I wanted to give you. Oh, yes. And also to tell you, in here in central Victoria, we have had heaps of flooding over Christmas. I think we had something like 200 mil in a couple of days. So we were flooded. Uh, we have pet pigs. So our pigs were flooded out and they've been telling us how unhappy they are about the whole situation. And so we've had to find new location on the property that somewhere that's drier. Uh, nothing's dry, but drier for them to, to sleep and eat. And yes, we have basically what looks like a lake around our property. It's just amazing. So that has happened, but it's still really muggy. It's very humid and we're, you know, we're getting 30 degrees, but with that rain and the mosquitoes, oh my goodness, they're like helicopters. They, when they're flying around you, you can hear them. It's unbelievable. We haven't had mosquitoes for a long, long time, usually because we're dry. But um, now with this wet, it's terrible. You, ca you can't go outside without being fully covered in a hat. That's anyway. So that's those things that have happened. I hope your new year has been exciting. Maybe not as exciting as that, but I hope it's been lovely and exciting and um, celebratory. We're heading into 2024 on a good footing. Uh, so I hope that you've had a lovely time. I hope you had a lovely holiday, lovely Christmas. And I also hope you've done a lot of reading. But never mind if you haven't. I actually haven't been able to, I haven't had time to, to do a lot of reading because I've been renovating the bookcases and trying to tidy up the house. So... Never mind. This year, I look forward to a lot more reading and a lot more chatting about books with you. So until Saturday the 13th, I will see you then. And until then, bye for now. <laughs>